So here's another word problem. A church window is made up of a rectangle. So let's draw this. We've got a rectangle with an equilateral triangle on top. So here's an equilateral triangle. Um, what's the maximum area? Ah, okay, as soon as it says maximum area, it's not a related rate. It's not a give me a rate, ask me a rate. This is a maximum word problem. So we got to write out the function that we're going to maximize or minimize. So this is an equilateral triangle. So that's going to be x, that's going to be x, that's going to be x. And all the angles here are 60 degrees. Um, this triangle then, or this triangle, this rectangle, this will be x, y. This will be x here, this will be y. Um, we want to maximize the area. So the area of the rectangle, that's x times y. The area of a triangle, that's base times height. Oh, if I need to know then... If I need to know the height, I need to know what this distance is here for a half base times height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take one of these triangles because this is actually a familiar triangle to us. This is 60 degrees, so this is 30 degrees. That's a right angle triangle. That's our that's our 30, 60, 90 triangle. That's our special triangle from Trig. In the unit circle, the hypotenuse would be 1. The side opposite the 60 degrees would be root 3 over 2. And the side opposite the 30, the small side, would be a half. Okay, that's our special triangle. If I look at the triangle we're talking about, the, well, it's a similar triangle, literally a similar triangle. I'm going to need to multiply all three sides by x. So 1 times x is x root 3 over 2 times x, and this bottom side here is x over 2. So there's your x over 2, that's halfway, the other x over 2. So now what we need then is the height of that triangle. The height of that triangle is root 3 over 2. Now we're set to write out what's the, now we're set to write out what the area function is. So the area is going to be the rectangle, which is x times y, plus the triangle, which is one-half base times height. Let's clean that up. That's x times y, uh, root 3 over 4, x squared. So that's the area that I'm trying to maximize. Now it turns up in terms of two variables, x and y. What stops me from making like a massive window? Well, the perimeter has to be 120 feet. So this y plus this x plus this x plus this y plus this x has to equal 120 feet. So 120 equals 2y plus 1, 2, 3 x's. That's our linking function. We're going to be able to get rid of one of the variables. Let's solve this linking function. Let's solve it for y. So that's going to be 120 minus 3x is equal to 2y. And then I'm just going to divide everything by 2 for that function equal to y. Or I guess I could write this as 60 minus 3x over 2. That's what I'm going to substitute in for y. So now the area is equal to x times y, which is 60 minus 3 over 2x plus root 3 over 4, root 3 over 4, x squared. Now the area function is in terms of one variable. I'm set. I can take the derivative, set equals 0, solve. Um, but before I take the derivative, I don't want to do product rule here with this x in this bracket, so let's just multiply this x through. That's 60x minus 3 over 2x squared plus root 3 over 4x squared. Um, I could put these pieces together, common denominator. Let's not right now. Let's just differentiate it. So a prime is equal to 60 minus 3x plus root 3 over 2x. I've differentiated, set it equal to 0, solve for x. So that's going to be 60 equals 3x, it's a positive when it goes over to the other side of the equal sign, minus root 3 over 2x. 
Uh, now let's factor that x, or let's, let's do common denominator. This 3, let's think of this 3 as 6 over 2. So I could write this as 6 minus root 3 over 2 times x. So solving for x, I get x is equal to 120 all over 6 minus root 3. Okay, and that'll be, I guess, that's a unit that's in feet. Now we've got the x. The last step of the maximum word problem is actually answer the question. Uh, what is the maximum area? Ah, so the answer should be such and such a feet squared, a number of feet squared. I know that this distance has to be 120 uh, all over 6 root 3x. So I need to know, well, I need to know the area. Here's area with x and y, but here's the area formula. So let's grab a color here. I'm going to use this formula. where I just have to plug the x in to get the area. So I'm going to take this value for x and plug it into this formula and calculate so many feet squared. So here's everything typed out, a little bit easier to read. Here's our area formula, solely in terms of x. Here's what we figured out x had to be. So all I need to do then is plug that in for x. And when I simplify this, that'll be area, that'll be in meters squared. So let's just ask the machine to simplify it. So there's our answer, meters squared. If we want that to be in decimal, just so we could have some meaning of you know what it means, 843 and a half square feet. We did everything in feet. Thanks. Nice.